music's always been a big part of my life, and uh, the idea of starting a band became more appealing to me. I think after I discovered bands like Green Day and Nirvana and the Foo Fighters, um, it was just kind of a seeing seeing people doing this and, and um, just the energy of a live show and, and the way that um, a band can capture an audience and uh, an audience can fuel a band. Um, that kind of symbiosis was really appealing to me. And um, yeah, it was, just, it was just one of those things where I was young and uh, I was, like I said, I was always interested in music, so I started picking up guitar and um, I could always kind of carry a tune. Uh, so as soon as I met some other people that were kind of like-minded and into playing music, it all just kind of happened. That's hard to say. It's really it's difficult to to put a pin in exactly when uh, you know this band felt special. It's always felt special as far as we've always done you know exactly what it is that we love doing, and um, we've always been really fortunate in the sense that ever since we started, it's always been a gradual build. Um, it's never really felt like at any time the progress of this band has has faulted. Um, so to that note, I think it's always been special. Um, you know, I think the moments that feel the most special though are the ones where we walk onto a stage in front of a crowd that we've never played to before or bigger than we've ever played to before or with a band that, such as Green Day, when we open for Green Day, um, it's kind of one of those full circle moments and you realize that everything you've done up to this point is paid off and you're, you're right where you want to be. I think that's probably the times that we feel like this band is special. <laughs> if this band hadn't worked out, I have no idea what I would be doing. Um, it's really hard for me to say. We started this band when we were 16 years old, so um, it's been, I was still in school, you know, I, I abandoned the idea of going to college and for, like getting a further education and, and the things they say you're supposed to do um, for the record deal and for going on tour and um, it was a gamble, you know, uh, and it's been my life ever since. It's, we've been a band now almost 10 years, going on 10 years. And uh, it's, there's really no alternative to me. Um, I think, you know, I'd be quite lost without the band and without music. Um, yeah, putting new music out is always a little bit nerve wracking. Uh, you wanna, you, you know, you, you pour your heart and soul into something and then you want people to receive it uh, with as much kind of positivity as, as you feel about it. Um, there's, there's definitely, you know, when you put something out there to be judged, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it makes you nervous for sure. But at the same time, we do what we love. And, and um, it's, you know, the music we write, we're fans of. So um, it's easy for us to get behind what we do and to have fun with it and to, uh, you know, I think at this point we've learned not to overthink it. There's definitely... You can always you can always kind of sit there and beat yourself up and beat yourself up wondering, you know what uh, what the right move is. Um, but you know I think sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith and get it out there and and just be confident that there's going to be someone that's going to accept it. Um, <laughs> no, not really. Uh, I don't think there was ever a time where we didn't think we were going to make it back from tour. Um, they, I mean, none of us in the sense of like dying on the road none of us fuck with like crazy drugs or anything like that so um everybody's health is good uh we um we've gotten lost a couple of times and people have lost passports so there have been times where we're stuck but that seems more of a temporary thing um no we're all we play it we play it pretty safe um you know aside from a couple drinks here and there we uh we like to go home it's like you know we spend this band especially we're like crazy about touring we're on the road probably over 300 days out of the year so um those moments in between when we do get to go home are really really valuable and we cherish that so uh it's it's nice to be able to make that stop we, we're not gonna screw that up there have been a lot of times when emotions bubble to the surface on stage uh i remember one very specifically it was years ago um we were playing at one of the bigger biggest venues in the Maryland area, which is where we're from, um, it's the venue where we grew up watching shows like uh, the Pop Disaster Tour, which was Green Day and Blank, two bands that really inspired us. And um, I remember being in the crowd for that show, and then we it was we had just put out our record, So Wrong, it's or no, sorry, Nothing Personal, and um, it was the first time we were playing Waitlist live on a tour, 
and that song has since become kind of a staple of our band and um, it was I remember stepping out in the crowd and it was it was sold out to 15 or 16,000 we were opening for Fall Out Boy and uh, it like the entire crowd when we started that song just erupted into into singing and it was I think maybe the first time we played it live and just to have that kind of hometown response of people um, just screaming the words uh, like I, I I stopped singing I was definitely like overtaken by just the, the feeling of it all it was really cool the 15 year old version of myself would probably think I'm a tool but but that's just because the 15 year old version of myself was also a tool so I was probably I'd probably be like oh, look at him with his boots and his tight jeans and his cool hair fuck that guy but um, that was because I had buck teeth and a bad haircut and didn't know how to dress so Fuck you, 15-year-old self. You're the asshole. <laughs>